Jeff Buck here, and today we are going to revisit the Epica compost bin that's been one year since I got this baby here in the mail. I bought this for my mother-in-law, and so we're going to revisit one year later and see what we think about it. How did it go uh, throughout the year, Camera Girl? How happy were we with this tin bucket? I really love the charcoal filter at the top. The charcoal filter. Yes. Yeah, so look how full that is. Now, I'm always on your mother saying we should never let it get that full because she will let it. I mean, she just she lets it turn into a science experiment. What are you talking about? It's food for the plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you're not supposed to leave it, you know, just willy-nilly until it overflows. A-D-D. Uh, but oh, anyway, CD? so I took a picture of it uh, a couple of days ago, or like last week I took a picture of it to show how full it was when we came back from a house sit, and that's what we found, because she hadn't emptied it in forever and ever, uh, and I've been here now, and I haven't done a good job myself, although in my own defense, I would have emptied this a couple of days ago, but I knew that I was going to get another one in the mail. Excuses dun, dun, say dun. what? So, so that's how satisfied we are. That's how happy we have been with this. We are so happy with it that I got a second one. Dun, dun, dun. Because my mother-in-law, she wasn't crazy about this when I got it. You know, that is not true. She'd had one before and you acted like, compost bin, have you ever heard of the such? And she was like, yeah, I've had one. Hers was glass. Yeah, but it wasn't the same thing. I mean, <laughs> a glass one, she didn't have this. She had, she had a glass container. Okay, okay, Bob. But I got her this one, which is stainless steel from the future. Amazing! But I asked her the other day, you know, if she was happy with this. And she said yes. She was very happy with it. In fact, I got this one for her here because she used like a Belgian waffle thingamabob. But she also has a uh, family piece of property up in Georgia. And she's got a trailer on that piece of property. And uh, it's, it's, it's like, what is this, below the gnat line or above the gnat line? We're below the gnat line. Below the gnat line, so there's lots of gnats. There's lots of cow patties. It's a country hellscape. You oh know, my surrounded God. by uh, pesticides and rabid foxes and, you know. But anyway, but at, that, at her trailer, she, has, she didn't have a Belgian waffle thing. She had a little um, you keep plastic saying that. It bucket. Was... Okay. It's, it's like a plastic <laughs> ice cream bucket. And she uses that for her compost there. It works fine. And it does work fine. That's what I thought. I thought she's perfectly happy with that. And that makes perfect sense. It's a little plastic bucket. You know, what more do you need? You know, the only reason I got this one here is because she had that little Belgian She had a, thing. it was frozen eclairs. It was yeah. the container that frozen eclairs came but in. But I hated that thing. <laughs> So I got her this to replace that, but oh in fact God. it was for me. I think but, this is saying a lot more about your mental state. Sure. Okay. But I asked your mother. Yes. And she said that she didn't like her little plastic bucket up there because she said that it smells. Whereas this, you know, even though we have all of this jazzy jazz in here, it really doesn't smell. I mean, it smells when you get down in here. But it doesn't, you know, it's not overly odorific in your kitchen. And I never bought the spare filters. This is the same filter that I got when I ordered this thing. And it's like, it's, if I close my eyes, it's almost like I'm in a country garden. All right. Walking. I mean, there's a, I mean, there's a dump uh, down the street. But still, I'm in a garden. But look, look in here. Look what we got. We've got um, all of this garbage in here. Coffee filters, uh, what do we have? Avocado. But here's the thing, we got some citrus in here. Oh, that's wrong. And some lemon, you know, because... Chef Buck says no. Well, I read that you're not supposed to put citric stuff in here. You don't, like, want to put a lot of lemon peels and that's jazz right. in here. Because I think if you get, like, the uh, citric acid -y stuff sitting on the bottom, that it might uh, deteriorate uh, the stainless steeliness of it. And can get some holes in it, but we don't. We haven't had any problems with that. I mean, I'm pretty careful about not putting any of that stuff in here. But your mom has, and but I mean, we don't chock full of it uh, with citrusy type stuff. So. Plus, you are bearing it every time we turn around. 
Well, yeah, I usually do a much better job of burying it, you know, because that's, you know, this isn't a composting system. You know, this is basically just a bucket to store your bits and bobbles for when you take it out um, to your compost pit. So, so let me show you what we do uh, when this is full or when we're ready to empty this out. We just take it outside. You dig a hole and you throw it in the hole. Cover hole. Really? Then you just wash out your pan, your little bucket, your little bin, and then you start all over again. So, I'm going to give this second one to my mother-in-law. <laughs> and see if she loves it as much as the first. Because uh, as you can see, you know, after a year, you know, it's a tin bucket. Uh, it's not any worse for wear. And in fact, I think when I bought this last year, I paid like 30 bucks for it. And I bought this the other day. And it was only $22. So it's a... Uh, a latte. Yeah, it's a lot, lot less. Uh, but we'll see how long that is. If you want to check the current price for it, I'll have an affiliate link down below. But that's it. One year later, and now we are the proud owners of two tin buckets. So I guess it's all right. You know, if you're looking for a compost bin for your kitchen. Blah, blah, blah. Ding! So boom, we open it up and it's some stuff. As expected, it's a can. I guess this is instructions for your can. So it is a tin pail about the size of my head. And it's got a lid and there's a filter in here. I think people complained about how hard it was to get this filter out in the reviews. Eh, it doesn't seem that hard. I don't know, there's two little filter things in here, which I'm not sure what the point of that is. I guess it's supposed to let in oxygen and keep out smells and fruit flies. Now I wanted to get one like this because it's all one piece, so it shouldn't leak. It's very light. And I like that it has a handle. My mother-in-law has this over here. And this is her Belgian custard mini eclair container. Which I find very frustrating because I always think I'm going to open it up and find delicious mini Belgian custard cream eclairs. And I always find just a bunch of garbage. And it fills up quickly. And it's just sort of inconvenient to take this out into her yard. So it'll just be more convenient with a bucket. This isn't a very hard lid to get off and on. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But the thing is, you don't want to keep stuff in here forever and ever. If you leave stuff in here, it's going to rot. It's going to be a mess. But if you like to keep uh, compostable stuff in your kitchen, then this is a nice thing to have around. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. I'll link to um, a couple of different ones. Or I'll have a link down below that'll take you to uh, a variety of these to look at. I think this one here was the highest rated one. But I'll have a link down below. You can check them out. And uh, I have a recipe coming up soonly. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.